TD, CIBC, and Royal Bank, and so on. We don't compete with those guys, right? We look for gaps in the market, and we try and fill those gaps. We are profitable, so we don't we don't rely on any taxpayer dollars. So whatever we do in the market, we, we, we make we make some money out of that, and that finances all our operations, right? Um, and the government of Canada is our sole shareholder, right? So we don't have regular, ordinary shareholders, right? Only the government of Canada is our shareholder, right? Um, and, um, oh, I, well, I mean, if you guys know about this, I, I think it's worth mentioning that uh, we, we are a B Corp um, corporation, so we have a B Corp certification, but you know, it's not really important for this particular um, uh, thing that we're doing here today. Um, if you look there, it says entrepreneurs are vital to connect to Canada's economy. That, that's, you know, I cannot overstate that. As you can see, 99.8% of Canadian companies are SMEs, right? So they are small to medium sized enterprises. You might think the majority of Canadian companies are huge companies. No, that's not it. So in 90% of private sector employment is provided by SMEs. 85% of private sector job creation between 2001 and 2015 through SMEs. 50% of business sector gross domestic product. So you can see how important SMEs are. And us as BDC, that is the area that we play in. So we see ourselves, BDC, as a very, very important contributor to the Canadian economy and to the creation of jobs and the well-being of Canadians generally. Okay. Um, so as, as BDC, what do we do in the market? Well, what are the, our, our lines of revenue or our revenue streams or our lines of business, let me say? So we have, we have three main ones. We have got financing, so that's the area that I work in. So financing is your loan, it's just we do term loans, right? Um, and we can loan up to any amount that you want. We don't have a limit. Um, and we start at about $50,000, right? Mm -hmm. um, to any million that you might be looking for. And, and then we've got uh, capital, it's called BDC capital. So this is more high risk lending, more um, unsecured financing, high amount and so on. That's our BDC capital. And then we've got advisory services. Advisory services is, as you might well anticipate or expect, is. Uh, management services because we understand that our entrepreneurs um, don't I mean they're good at what they do right so if, if you're looking at an entrepreneur who's an electrician for example you know that an electrician is good at being an electrician but they might not be so good at human resource management or operational efficiency or financial management because he's only an electrician right so we come in and we assist them with those advisory services around running the business making sure that that business runs efficiently and effectively and profitably, right? And this is over and above the financing that we do, right? So that's something that, that we do as well. Um, and then, uh, uh, yeah, that's the profile of our organization. When you look at our organization, we serve about 62,000 entrepreneurs across Canada because we have got offices in almost every city in Canada. We're in every province, every territory. Look at that map. That tells you where we are, right? Um, and then we have 2,400 BDC employees. Uh, not too big, not too small. And we have a 94% client satisfaction. So we really work hard to try and make sure that the clients that we deal with are satisfied and happy uh, at the end of the day. Okay? If you have any questions, guys, don't hesitate to ask. You can stop me anytime and ask, right? Please, please feel free. Um, and we, we support um, entrepreneurs through good and bad times. Um, when I say we support entrepreneurs through good and bad times, we actually live this, this philosophy. Um, and uh, during the difficult time of COVID-19, um, we, we stepped up to deliver relief to entrepreneurs in a time of great need. I remember last year, uh, around March, well, 2021, yeah. So March, 2020, March, April, May, June, and you know, that whole period, uh, 2020, when we first started, uh, uh, you know, hearing about the outbreak of COVID and working from home and shutdowns and lockdowns and things like that, 
we ended up um, one giving very very cheap financing to companies that had been adversely affected by COVID-19. These were existing com companies, right? We gave loans at 2.8 percent, right? Which is something that we don't typically do, right? They had to qualify, of course. They had to be existing businesses, of course. Yeah, but still, we came in and we we assisted. We also gave a company principal payment holidays, so they were only paying us interest for a certain amount of time for six months. Because on your loan, let's say on your mortgage, you pay principal plus interest. But what we said was, okay, because of this difficult time, we will let our clients just pay just the interest, and then we can postpone payment of the, uh, of the principal until such a time as their business recovers. Okay. Um, um, yeah, okay, this is very important. So we have compiled all the federal and provincial government support measures for businesses in one place on our website and made sure we update it weekly. So th that's something, so if you guys, you guys as an organization or your members can go to bdc.ca forward slash coronavirus, that will tell you all the areas that all your members can get um, help. Um, or assistance in as far as the coronavirus is concerned. If there's any issues, problems, let me know. But that should be able to assist you. So it will tell you, okay, the government of Canada is, is, is offering this, and the government of Alberta is offering this, and Futurepreneur is doing this, BDC is doing that, right? It's all in one place, okay? Um, so now for an overview of our offering and solutions. Um, as you can see there, you know, we, we do working capital loans. We do, so if a client is coming to us for working capital, they want to buy a business, they want to invest in real estate, they want to purchase equipment, if they, if they want to export to new markets, transfer a business, invest in technology, start a business, all those are areas that we will assist in. It's essentially, what are we saying? We're saying from the day that a business opens its doors to the day it closes its doors for one reason or another. We, we can finance for any need in that business. There's nothing that will happen in a business that we cannot finance for. But, you know, but it's, it obviously has to be the right kind of business, right? It's got to be profitable, it's got to, you know, all these, all these other things, right? Um, but otherwise, if the business meets our criteria, there's no problem. We can finance anything. So, what makes BDC different? Why, why do people come to us and, uh, and not go somewhere else? We're flexible. We are patient. What does flexible mean? We have long repayment periods. Um, we have repayment schedules that match uh, our clients' cash flow cycle. Um, we have a high risk tolerance. Terms and conditions don't change without due cause. And we don't take personal assets it's collateral. So we only take business assets. So if you come to us and you're buying a building, a commercial building, um, we will not say, oh, okay, you're buying a commercial building. Uh, we're taking, uh, we will take security on your personal house. or your per We don't do that. We would only take security on the business asset itself. And we will leave the house alone. We will leave your car alone. Yes, go ahead. So you are different. Uh, because the bank, mm -hmm. they ask those security, they need security yes. to be secure. Mm -hmm. They want the money, want the blessing. Mm -hmm. So, if I understand that you guys, mm -hmm. you can uh, accept anyone. Mm -hmm. So that mean you, 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 you uh, that means you are not checking the credit mm -hmm. of the person or I was working okay because because most of time bank when they check your credit and most of uh, especially black people mm -hmm. they have a bad credit yes and they have a business mm -hmm. so that's the difficulty for us to get something I my example I don't have a good credit okay. but when I, I went to see uh, the bank may different bank mm -hmm. they I will, they will stop me about that. But I have an idea of my business. Mm -hmm. uh, it's working good, but I need help to go. 
Okay. Oh yeah, you, you have raised a very good point when it comes to credit, because we look at credit quite a bit when we are giving you a loan, right? Because we believe that um, past behavior is a good indicator of future behavior. However, if you have bad credit because you you are over leveraged or let me say if you have bad credit because you 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 have taken on too much credit right that's that's something that i can explain or my my colleagues can explain to our credit department if you can show me that if, if, okay i have bad credit because i was borrowing a line of credit here so that i could put the money in the business and i was doing this because then that's that's acceptable but if you have bad credit because you're not paying your bills that's a different story altogether, right? If you have bad credit because maybe your inquiries on your credit are a lot, that's okay. I can explain that, right? But if you have bad credit because your, one of your accounts went to collection or you're not paying your bills, then that's very difficult, even for me, right? So uh, th there's, there's different reasons why people have bad credit. And some of them we can explain, some of them we can. Does that answer your question? Yeah. Done.